So let's go over here and get some sleep. Hopefully we don't get attacked right now in three or four. That's our big problem, child, because the defenses are not even set up over there right now. Game, don't do me dirty. Oh, good. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays Fear Equation. New day of recording for one that I should note. And number two, there's also a new update. It's now going to be 1.3. We're currently on 1.2.1. If you guys remember last time when I updated, my my save file got lost. Well, I went over the, the change log this time around. And it is recommended to start a new save, meaning if you update, you might lose your save file, so you might want to hold off until your current run is probably over. We're going to be holding off because obviously I'm not going to restart again. That's silly at this point, right? But um, off camera, what I did here, however, was to kind of get us ready. I went ahead and I split people up based on their dreams. That way we could kind of fortify defenses based on their type of nightmares that they're having in a group. So instead of like having everybody in one single carriage where there's a ton of different nightmares happening, we'll probably just single them out. So check this out. In carriage number one, as you can see now, workers is going to be the really, really big issue over here, based on the people left over. But for carriage number four, for instance, the big issue over here is going to be shamblers, right? So really easy to kind of take care of. And number three, our big issue is going to be old Daisy and a little bit of rewind. Both of these individuals were having Daisy and rewind nightmares, so that's the reason why there's a bit of rewind over here involved. But the main priority is going to be old Daisy, as you could probably see. Therefore, carriage number one, you guys have to start building some defenses, I would say, probably for... What did we say over here? Shamblers, was it? Green logs. Uh, workers. Four workers. So let's go ahead and build some defenses for workers down over here. We have... This is going to be the materials one, right? Moderate defenses. Let's go ahead and do two over here. Build those bad boys up. Alrighty. Number three. You guys are having issues with Old Daisy and Rewind. We're going to focus on Old Daisy because this is a really big one. So we'll do build defenses. And we will be using some scrap over here. The only problem is when you have less people in a carriage, obviously they will build slower. So that's the only um, trade-off right there. Um, so I guess for this one, we'll probably go with... Let's go with Old Daisy for now. We'll use the uh, scraps over here. And then we'll probably use the materials afterwards. But let's start off with the scraps here first. So build those. And then in carriage number four, we'll come down over here. And you guys are having issues with the shamblers. Alrighty. And we have a few things for you to take care of. Not really too many. As a matter of fact, we might want to give them a bit more. Maybe even give them the scrap one. You know what? That's not too bad. Let's move this one over to number four. Alrighty. That's a bit better. Build defenses and we'll go after... What do we say over here? Shamblers, was it? Shamblers. Okay. The old zombies. So we'll do shamblers. One, two, and three. Build. Alrighty. And let's see. I would love to upgrade the train as we go forward here, but right now let's worry about the defenses because we've moved people around, obviously, so there's issues here coming on. Now, in carriage number one, 20% defense uh, estimate for workers, right? And you guys are still working on this one, apparently? Yeah. You have given me some upgrades to the train, haven't you? I'm pretty sure you have. Let's see here. Or would I do that one again? It's been a few days since the last played, so oh, here we go. Overview. So, right now we have three carriages in use, population 9 of 150, food supplies for 23 days, which is actually pretty great, and fuel 7 of 15. We could, we could store up to 15, but we could only have 7 at the moment. Alright, gotcha. Alrighty, and as you can see our concerns over here, technology levels number 1 is a big concern, 3 and 4 are cool right now, just because they haven't really, um, I just moved in there right now, so probably next day over they'll probably have some complaints over here for us. But for now, I think this is actually pretty good. Let's find out if we had any sort of um, calls for help over here, we definitely did. Uh, we have the chemist. Actually, that's my recent missions, Falcon. Help. Here we go. If anyone's listening, there are a few survivors still alive at the chemist at Blair Springs 1011. If anyone's listening, there are a few survivors still alive at the chemist at Manchester 103. If anyone's still listening, there are a few survivors still alive at the gas station at 53. And we have Charles Price has certain towns. He is hiding in the warehouse 5-1 in the bathroom. I believe we wanted to go after him, but the problem with him is that he is really, really far back from our destination. So we would have to do a lot of backtracking, and that's really no good for us. So right now we're heading over to here, which is going to be Fairborn Grove Gas Station, which is something we definitely need. If we go there in a the medium speed, we will definitely get there at least one left over. Can I go fast out of curiosity? No. We don't have the fuel required for that, so we'll have to go medium for a fact. Okay. And as you can see over here, we have two um, of the military um, ve vehicles, I guess, and vessels over here. That's going to be kind of scary. But because we extended our radio, you can see now we have a bigger reach now going forward, which is going to give us some idea what to look forward to, which is actually pretty cool. Alrighty. So, um, oh, this is where that special dude is at. Hey, you know what? He's actually in our way after all. I mean, we would have to do a little backtracking, but it's not too bad. Huh. Alrighty. Well... We'll still head over to where we're headed right now, but that's okay. So we're going medium speed, everything's fine. 
we're in our orders phase. Let's go ahead and start skipping forward. Get on out of there. <clears throat> and we'll tab out. Working phase. Hopefully you guys get those defenses up and running pretty soon because I need defenses for three and four primarily. Let's go forward yet again. Oh my god. Ever since we got that radio upgrade, man, we're picking up just about everything on the uh, map now. What do you guys have here done? Carriage number one completed the barricaded uh, entrances. Perfect. So you guys were at 20%, right? What are you at now, I wonder? 30%. That's really, really good. That's really, really high up there. I mean, it's not even 50% yet, but it's something. Okay. Continue working on that stuff and then work on these guys and we'll go forward from there. Now, I was wondering... I can't do it right now. People were telling me if... um. Why do you have so many, at least for the last run, why did you have so many pod defenses happening? Like, don't you just need one? I thought so too. I figure you just need one pod, quote unquote, defense trap if you get attacked by, like, you know, aliens or whatever. The thing is that every single time you build another one of those, if you've noticed on your dream logs, your defense estimate goes up. So I don't think you just need one. That would seem way too easy for this game. And let's be honest here, uh, screw flight games are not meant to be easy. So I'd figure if you build one trap for pods, you're not secure. It's not like, you know, oh, I'm fine now, we have one defense happening, we're all good. No, 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 no. I think you have to build a lot of them, and they all basically add up to your overall defense estimate. So I did read that a lot, and I also thought the same thing. Believe me, I'm with you in the same boat. But no, I'm pretty sure you have to have a lot of different traps set up for that specific type of nightmare to attack you and defend against it properly. So, um, yeah, I mean, I read that a lot, so I was kind of with you on that one too, believe me, but I figured, no, I think you need a lot more than just one. The game would be too easy if it was just one defense per um, nightmare. So let's go over here and get some sleep. Hopefully we don't get attacked right now in three or four. That's our big problem, child, because the defenses are not even set up over there right now. Game, don't do me dirty. Oh, good. This is the worker's one. Which is the one that, um, carriage number one is actually defending against. So, I, I think we're fine. Well, I mean, I, I hope we're fine. I'm just moving around right now, okay. So, this was uh, an attack on carriage number one, workers. Oh, god damn it. Again? Stop it. Stop it right now. Alrighty, we'll see how that one went. But that was an attack on carriage number four, we have shamblers, or one or the other. But, we do have a message from our people here. Maybe it didn't go as good as I thought it did. <laughs> okay. Uh, two people here, two people here, and five people here. I mean, my people are still there. Maybe they took injuries at the most. Hey! Hold up, hold up. Dream logs. Yes! It was against number one, and it doesn't seem that anybody's injured. We might have defended this one against, uh, against this attack perfectly. Oh my god, I'm so happy if that worked out the, w the way I wanted it to. Three is fine, and four is fine. Hey, guys, I think it worked out. Hold up. So let's go over here. Carriage number one. That's exactly what was attacked. Carriage could have done with more defenses. It wasn't a strong attack. Things would have gone a lot worse if Terry Paris hadn't acted so quick. He guarded the barricades closely, patching them up as they breached. Injuries, zero. That's what I want to see. Good job, Terry Paris. Isn't Terry Paris the guy who saved us the first time around, too? Isn't that guy like our, our, our quote-unquote MVP? I think he is. Yeah, yeah, he was the older gentleman. Good job, Terry Paris continues to kill it. Conti Actually, no, it was John Mitchell. It was another older gentleman, but as you can see right now, our older people are basically ste stepping up to the plate over here. Good on you guys. Good on you guys. So we defended against that one. Perfect. Alrighty. Um, let's see what these um, calls for help are all about. We got a lot of them. Help. Oh my god. If anyone's listening, there are many survivors still alive at the supermarket at Manchester 10-3. Uh, anyone still listening? There are a few survivors still alive at HAL 77. Survivors at 71, Rail Depot. Mary Lewis has certain talents. She is at the outpost at 91, Armory. That could be a pretty good place for us to go to the Armory and maybe get some get supplies in there. There are many survivors still alive at the hospital 1013. Survivors at Rail Depot 59. There are a few survivors at the pub in Brookhaven. Uh, same one with Brookhaven again. Police station at Davisboro. Ooh, that could be pretty cool. And Manchester 10-3. Okay. Let's come over here really quickly. Okay, here we go. So, check this out. After we get gas over here, we might have a different type of route available to us. I didn't notice there was a, a connection point. There was a connection point. So, check this out. Once we get over here and get our gas, hopefully, we could just go up here and get the special person with the talent, and then go up this path instead. There's also a rail depot over here with survivors. 
the outpost is another person apparently that has some hidden talents and then we can just kind of circle over here and from here we make our goal so instead of just instead of just jumping over here we'll go the long way around and try to pick up these special people i think that's pretty good okay that is actually not too bad medium we're still quite a bit away from there bind you and we might die before we even get there assuming how these attacks go remember we're not going fast we're going medium because we can't go fast to get to that location after all Alrighty, so um, we uh, we definitely have some things in our grasp over here to kind of do. Let's start off by doing the lottery over here. You know what? I've never done a lottery with more than, with I guess, people in different carriages. How does this work out? Does it still work in the same way? Sharon Hernandez, Kathleen Hernandez. Let's see here. I'd imagine it probably, yeah, yeah. So it still takes everybody from every carriage and then just puts them into one pile. And then you could rig it if you want to. Well, since we're not going out right now, we'll just do a dispatch with these people here. Not a big deal. So at number three, you guys are still working on this. This is going to take a while. 26.40% progress because you guys are a bit slow. It's only two people working as well. Their bonus is, by, by the way, guarding and negotiation. So it's not even building the fences. That's pretty bad. And number four, we have repair carriage and building defenses, which is great. You guys are at 38.50. Trying to guard against shamblers. Okay, good. Not too bad. And then you guys are over here still patching up this new one, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And after you're done with that, you move over to this one. Let's check out the dream logs over here. Workers is still the big issue. All right. Number three, old Daisy and Rewind. Perfect. And number four, Shamblers. All right. So the dreams have not changed just yet. Excellent. Um, somebody in the comments mentioned, Falcon, if you check the poster by your bed, you notice something. This over here apparently changes. Um, when we got attacked by the sisters, there was like a monastery apparently. Now we have, like, I don't know, uh, uh, just a regular stone brick building somewhere. What do you guys think this would be? I'm not sure what that one would be. Like, would that be, like, I'm not sure what that is. We have Old Daisy, we have Workers, we have Shamblers. I don't think this is Shamblers or Workers. Maybe Old Daisy? Maybe even the Rewind one? I don't know. That's pretty interesting, though. But this apparently does change. We'll keep an eye on it, though. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and skip forward from the orders, and then we will be working on those defenses. God, message over here. Hopefully it is from three or four. It's not. It's from... Oh, actually, four is done. Completed the barricade entrances. Perfect. And number one is also done with the barricaded entrances. Or barred entrances, I guess. Barricaded, barred, same thing, man. Don't, don't hassle me. Don't faff me about, about semantics, right? 40% defense against workers. Perfect. You guys are still over here working along. And number four is now... Let's see your dream locks. 25% defense against shamblers. Perfect. That is great for only two people. Alrighty, I'm loving that. And how are we doing with food? We have food for 21 days. We'll get there. We'll get to that place that we're going to before 21 is done. So that's going to be fine. Now, oh, hey, check it out. Carriage number one no longer has any um, issues with our technology level or whatever. Perfect. So we're actually mediating everything pretty well right now. Now, you guys are still working against, on defenses, which is fine. After you're done with these two, I want to have you probably start working on upgrades again. But right now, I want to get my defenses up and running first. So let's check out what our help calls were all about here. Um, outpost at 414, survivors. Survivors, one survivor at Palmetto 12-2. And Survivor's Gas Station in Fairbone Grove. Alright. Let us go forward. Actually, it's time for us to get some sleep. Alrighty. Please, no attacks, okay? I know we're going medium right now. I should have probably checked my fog level. We haven't done that as well. That's probably my bad. If we check our fog level uh, meter, we could probably get an idea if we might get attacked or not. No attack, though, thankfully. Same poster is still there, so that's something to kind of keep in mind over here as well. Alrighty, let's check out our fog level if we can. It's at a 10 at our current location right now too, so... Man, I really wish we could go fast, but unfortunately... Don't have the gas for that. We had a few calls for help over we asleep. At least one more. Survivors at the factory at 114. Alright. Let's come over here and do our lottery for the day. Cool. And you guys are now working on... The medium defense. Perfect. How's your dream? Still at workers at 40%. Excellent. How you guys doing over here? Old Daisy and Rewind, you still are working on this first one, huh? You guys need to kind of speed it up here a little bit. You could, What you could also probably do is probably send a good builder from like carriage one or four over to three, give them a hand. That's a possibility as well. Do we have a good builder here? Build defenses. Build defenses. We have John Mitch, who's amazing at building defenses, actually. But he's kind of like the only really good one in carriage one that could build them, so... Of course, there are more people here, that's for a fact. 
So, I mean, you'd still have four people working in defense. So we could have John Mitchell help out number three. You know what? I don't think that's a bad idea. John, I'm going to have you. Not, that's not you. You're, you're Mark Scott. John Mitchell, I'm going to have you move over to three and help out with the defenses here for a bit. So we'll go into move passenger. John Mitchell over to number three. Dispatch. Now, sending him over to three is going to be kind of bad because now... Huh. Oh, you know what's pretty cool? John Mitchell has not been having nightmares. So it's not going to affect um, carriage number three's nightmares at all. Perfect. Alrighty, John, you are a baller, my friend. But yeah, give them a hand in terms of building the defenses over here because they're quite slow. That's cool. And you're, you guys are still working on that? Alright. I'll probably add the other ones after they're done with these because they still have a lot to go with. Number four, you guys are done with the first one. You started work on the second one. Alright. And number one, you're still working on this one. Perfect. So, no, no upgrades for now. We just want to focus on defenses a bit more. Let's go check out our map here really quickly. We're slowly making progress. Slowly making progress. All right. Oh! No, no, no. Return again. <laughs> that escape button always gets me, man. Big issue. Uh, so, we have our order set up over here. Defenses. Let's go ahead and skip forward to the work period. One more call for defense or for help. And then we have... Here we go. I send John Mitchell over and they finish the first one. Perfect. Blinds. And then carriage number one has a disguise as well. So that should increase our defenses completely. Oh, 75% against workers just by building this one over here. How amazing is that? Good job, guys. That's really, really good. What about number three? 8.33. That's going to take a while. I mean, you know, Rome wasn't built in one day, right? And Dream Dreamlog Shambler is 25% good. Alrighty, hey, we're making some pretty good stuff over here. I'm really glad that we moved people over. I'm not sure that's the best idea we've had, but so far it seems to kind of be building or at least upping our defenses by a lot. Uh, let's see what this call for help was all about. Survivors at the pub at Brookhaven, A10. Alrighty. And I do believe it's time for us to get some sleep, right? Alrighty. John, you keep helping those people out. If we get attacked by anything, I prefer to be workers because carriage number one has a 75% chance of success against that. So we want to con- Oh, it is workers again. Yes! <laughs> oh, you think I'm scared of this nightmare now? No, I'm fine, dog. I'm perfectly fine. Let's see here. I'm curious to see what the other nightmares look like. We've seen the sisters, we've seen the workers, and that's about it for now, isn't it? Hmm. Here's a restart again. Alright. Let's see what happened here. Alright, we have our message here. I expect good news. Carriage number one. We were fit and healthy. It looked like a weak attack, but anything could happen. Mark Scott was the hero. He guarded the barricades closely, patching it up when breached. Injury zero again. Oh my god. I think I just learned a really valuable lesson when it comes to moving people around. That's really, really good stuff. Alrighty. Let's go into the notebook here. Uh, so, dream logs. We are still over here dealing with Chambler's number four. Great. Number three is still dealing with old Daisy. And number one, dealing with workers at 75% defenses. And then we'll get this one up and running. I wonder if we, when we finish this, it'll go up to 100. If so, that could be pretty great for us. Now, with John Mitch over here, you guys need to kind of speed it up here a bit more, I'm going to say. And then number four, I'll try to get you some help afterwards, too, number four. So, alrighty. How's our food situation looking like? We still have food for 20 more days. Four fuel. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to get to an area with gas depot, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and do our lottery, though. All right. Overview. Carriage number one. Excuse me. Excuse me, my friend. Carriage number one. Lottery. Dispatch everybody out. Okay. And we're still working on the same things over here. Let's skip forward. Do we have any calls for help? We absolutely do. But let's get some work done first, and then we'll check everything together at the end here. All right. Carriage number one completed disguise, and then carriage number four completed barric uh, barred entrances, I should say. All right. Let's see here. Number one. What do you got for me? 100% defense against workers. Baby, that's what I like to see. So here's what we can do now. I could send people over from carriage 1 to 3 or 4 to help them out, get their defenses up and running too, assuming they don't have any other different nightmare on them. So here's what we could do. Dream logs. Who's been dreaming about workers? We, we have Jose Wright, factory. Uh, Barbara Lopez, factory. Jose Wright. Jose Wright and Barbara Lopez. So, Barbara Lopez and Jose Wright are the people having the nightmares about workers. So, as long as we avoid sending them out and just send either Mark or Terry to help out somewhere else, that could probably help out. 
build defenses here over here and marks a little bit better a little bit better therefore let's go ahead oh we can't send them out to right now we have to wait till the next day because we already went through our lottery phase tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to send mark scott over to maybe four to help them out with their defenses and see how that one goes uh, let's see how you guys doing over here. 8.33, you guys are still lagging it behind here, but you're almost done with a second one. And at number four, you guys are at 50% with only two defenses. That's really, really great. Alrighty, good. Good stuff. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and check out our map here. We have people over here. We're almost actually to our, our little destination, too, finally. And we have a ton of special interest people around us here as well. Alrighty, we're going to wrap it up here for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.